Talk. So if you're new here, if you're old here and you haven't already subscribed to your channel yet, make sure you stop what you're doing. Make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you keep rocking with me. Also, make sure you check out the links down below. The first link is to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel. Help fuel the Eagles to some more wins, please. The second link is to shop the official small with the Spins on Smurfs collection. Get you the classic tea, the wavy tea, or the brand new Jayla Maker Hurts tea. And the last link is to subscribe to the podcast Tough Calls where me and Dylan have some of your favorite sports analysts, reporters, former and current athletes. Chop it up with us on the pod. Also, make sure you turn your notification bells on because you already know the videos are coming like boom, 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 boom. And you don't want to miss a single video or a single live stream even though we haven't got a live in like 10 years. But anyway, subscribe. Guys, let's get into it. We already know the booty. Yeah. We won in three. But this ain't no sad love song, baby. I done cried all my tears. I done woed all my woes. You know like the stages of grief or the stages of sadness? Or I don't know what the stages of, I, I know it's five stages, but anyway, I done went from mad to uh, in denial. I guess my in denial was when I was like, forget them birds. What's a bird? Um, then I went to, well, we had mad and denial. Now, I guess I'm just in my, if you know what I'm saying, I'm not going to say the word, but the, it, it, it. y'all can fill in the blank, blanket. I'm in my blanket state, like blanket, blanket. That's all you can say, blanket. You can fill in the blank with whatever word you want to fill it in with, but blanket, blanket. Blanket, blank, blank, bleep, 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 there's nothing else you can say but bleep, 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 them eagles, bleep, 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 this NFL season, bleep, I mean, it's really not what's set, but anyways, if you put all that bullshit aside, So you guys know I work primarily right now working at high school baseball. So I met one of my subscribers at a baseball game. Um, I primarily work in travel baseball, so it's not I don't see the same teams all the time. You know they're coming from everywhere. And this one guy was like he he was subscribed to me on YouTube. And you know you just get that feeling when you meet a subscriber, like you know, because I'm really on camera just talking to a camera a lens. You know what I mean? So when I see somebody in person, my job only met two subscribers now. It's like, wow, this is a real life thing. I ain't just on here talking to myself. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, the young man said that he loved my channel because he said I bring, have good logic points and it's good vibes. Now, I already know it's good vibes, but some of you guys be coming for my logic. I'm just playing. But anyway, let me bring some logic to y'all. Let me bring some logic. One, <clears throat> I saw some people in my comments talking about tanking. Heck to the freaking bleep, 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 no. Heck to the bleep, 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 no. Bleep, 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 whoever think we need to be tanking right now. Okay? This is week four that just passed. And you guys know me. I'm weak. And if I have, I don't have hope. Because look. Hope breaks your heart. I don't have hope. I'm just, I'm just carefree right now. I don't, how this? I don't have any expectations. I'm just going into these games, just hoping I might lose the word hope. Cause like I said, when you have hope, that's how you get your heart broke. But the season is not over for the Eagles. It's any given freaking Sunday, and that's what makes sports so great and fun because sports are unpredictable. So it's we're going into week five. Y'all should not the word tank shouldn't even be anywhere near you guys' brain. Okay? Anything can happen any given Sunday. And if you think about this, guys, we're one and three. And we lost us those three games. That's so heartbreaking and so hard to swallow, but it's also encouraging 
because we were in positions to win. It's not like we had no chance. We had a chance. It's a it's a bittersweet because we were we could have won those games. It's one thing if we had no chance to win these games, then I can see why some of you guys are talking about tanking. Well, I can't, not at week five. But we actually had chances to win. We were in positions to win. And if we looked at the schedule before the season, we knew that we were underdogs against the Niners. We knew that we were probably going to lose. We knew that, that we were probably going to lose to the Niners and the Chiefs. And we knew we weren't going to sweep the Cowboys. We usually split with the Cowboys if we're lucky. So if we looked at our schedule before the season, didn't see anything on the field, and we saw, oh, we lost to the Niners, we lost to the Chiefs, and we lost to the Cowboys. Duh. How the heck are we supposed to be mad at that? Those are three super explosive offenses and two teams with goats of coaches going against our young coaching staff. We lost to a division rival, and we lost to Shanahan and Andy Reid. We lost to two organizations that's had nothing but continuity in the last couple of years. Duh. We knew we weren't going to beat those teams anyway. So there's no reason for us to tank. And the fact that we were in those games, we could have beat the Niners if it was better play calling. We freaking could have beat the Chiefs if it wasn't for penalties taking two touchdowns off the board. All that stuff can change. But at the end of the day, if I saw this schedule, we beat right now. We did what we're supposed to do. We beat the team we were supposed to beat. We were supposed to beat the Falcons, and we beat the Falcons. It would have been upsets if we beat the freaking Chiefs and the freaking Niners. So why are we mad that we lost the Chiefs and Niners? They're the freaking Chiefs and Niners. I know the Niners aren't the Niners, the Super Bowl team Niners. But like I said, coaching messed us up. We're coaching against. We got this. I'm not even coming for Nick Sirianni anymore because we're going to get into that later. We got a first-year coach going up against Kyle Shanahan, who's been there, done that. We're going against Andy Reid, who we know is the Billy Billy Goat, the Goat, the Goat tier. And again, coaching messed us up. Having linebackers on Tyreek Hill messed us up. One-on-one on on Tyreek Hill messed us up. Penalties. On touchdowns. Two Dallas got a touchdowns taken off the board. And not even penalties that freaking helped us get in the end zone. Penalties that had nothing to even do with the play that got us in the end zone. It's one thing if you get a rushing touchdown that was holding and you would have never got the, the touchdown if your, your dude didn't hold. But all those penalties, we would have got the touchdown regardless if y'all guys didn't bleep, 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 bleep. Derek Barnett. I don't even need to say more on Derek by now. Anyway, no freaking tanking. All we got to do is clean up our act. And if these grown millionaires can't clean up their freaking act, then they got more trouble than this season, baby. Because you know what? The cut man going to be coming. The cut man going to be coming. Big purr. Speaking of big purr. We got the freaking Big Purr Cats coming up next. The Carolina Panthers. That's going to be a tough team, but it's a winnable game. We're going to get into it. All these games were freaking winnable. If it wasn't for bonehead play calling and bonehead penalties. Now let's clap it up for our offense. And another thing, you don't tank. I'm about to get into the offense. You don't freaking tank. Y'all, our offense, I know it's playing the Chiefs busted defense, but our offense looked good. Our offense looked so freaking good. That was that week one offense. Jalen Hurts, amazing. 380 yards, 105 QBR. He had that one. He had two dangerous passes, two touchdowns. Freaking Quez Watkins, freaking Kenneth Gainwell, looking like a steal. Kenneth Gainwell doing everything. Nick Sirianni actually playing to Jalen Hurts' strength. The play action was going. Playing to freaking Kenneth Gainwell's strength. Using him as a pass catcher. Kenneth Gainwell looked amazing. Quez looked amazing. Devonta Smith looked great. Amazing to me. That game. Dallas got her, baby. Dallas, amazing. Zach Ertz being that dude in them clutch situations. 
The office is there. Give Miles Sanders. I'm not complaining about Nick. Nick, you good with me this week, buddy? Yeah, I'll eat my words from last. No, I'm not eating my words from last week because we wouldn't be one and three. So what I said still stand, Nick. But thank you for listening. But if you still listening, which I know you're not, run Miles more. You did better play calling much, much, much better. But give Miles more touches. But the offense, I have nothing to say about the offense. The first two games, well, not the Falcons, the last two losses were the offense. Now the defense freaking sucked. Jonathan Gannon looking really mad, 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 stupid funny in the life. And I don't have it in me to get worked up. Like I said, I'm going to. Let's talk about some numbers. We sent an extra rusher just twice. Twice. Where was the blitzes? First of all, before I get into this, like I said, shout out to that offense and the offensive line. We only have one starter, Jason Kelsey, on the offensive line. Shout out to the offensive line. Shout outs to y'all. Credit goes with credit is due. Now, defense. Jonathan Gannon, where was the freaking blitz? Blitz them linebackers, because they have to stay sucking coverage. So, blitz. In the last two games, we gave up 83 points and 850 yards. Now, that sounds like a, a bunch, but then again, to, um, this is not credit in Jonathan Gannon. You're learning literally the blitz. This is not credit in Jonathan Gannon, but to the team as a whole, yeah, we gave up 83 points, but think about who we, were, who we had in the last two weeks. Dak and Patrick Mahomes. Freaking CD, freaking Zeke. Freaking Tony Pollard, freaking Tyreek Hill, freaking Travis Kelsey. It's a miracle we didn't give up more. And then two, we got to remember in the Dallas game, the defense broke down. The defense was holding up. But when your offense is three and out after two minutes on the field, yeah, the defense is going to wear out throughout the game. Now, there was no excuse during the Chiefs because the offense was out there rolling Using up clock. The offense stayed on the field. We put up 30 points. There's no reason why we should have lost a game. We put up 30 points in. Like I said, we're down, but we're not out. Do I have our goal going into this season was what? To make the playoffs. We knew we weren't winning the Super Bowl. So we're still not completely out. Like I said, it's only week five. And if these guys can clean up their act, this is all on us. Stop the penalties. If we could just do that, just stop the penalties. Every other freaking, every 30 seconds is a yellow flag. Every 30 seconds is a yellow flag. Where the fun in that? Keep the game rolling. Keep the game rolling. Stop the freaking penalties. If anybody's trying to sabotage us, it's not Nick Sirianni. It's freaking Derek Barnett. Does he have something against us? Is he betting on the other team? Somebody check his wagers. Because Derek Barnett just seems like he does not play for us. Every week is Derek freaking Barnett. Send the man packing. Get us a linebacker. Trade him for a linebacker or something. Somebody can use some depth on their V-line. Maybe Derek don't like it. I'm starting to think it's personal because Derek Barnett just keeps killing us. Like I said, two months ago, if you took the record out of it, well, even if you put the record in and you told me that the Eagles beat the Falcons, lost to the Cowboys, lost to the Chiefs and Niners. I would not be surprised and I'll actually be confident. Because you know what that shows? The team we were supposed to beat, matchup-wise, talent-wise, the Atlanta Falcons, we did that. We went on the road and beat them. The Niners, the Chiefs, 
and the Dallas Cowboys offensively are tough tasks. We knew we weren't going to sweep the Cowboys, so we got to keep it real with ourselves. And this is a good thing for us. We're not tanky. We lost to freaking, we lost to freaking Niners, and it was on us. It was on us, play calling and penalties. We could have won that game, but still, we lost to the Niners. Great play calling from Kyle Shanahan. We lost to the freaking Chiefs. Amazing play calling from Andy Reid. Bonehead play calling from our defensive coordinator. I'm not mad at that. But you know what has to happen? We have to continue to win the games we're supposed to win, which is the freaking Carolina Panthers. They're still without Christian McCaffrey. Dallas found a way to beat them. Dallas put up points on them, 30-some points. I know that's Dallas offense. But if we can keep up, keep up this offense that we brought to the Chiefs, we'll be fine. Now, for the people that are still here and hung around, let's talk about stuff. Right now, points allowed. I'm just gonna put stuff in perspective. I know all these numbers are, you know, when you read a number, it's a billion things that go behind a number. Who each team play, yada yada yada. But I just want to give you all some comfort in numbers. Right now, the Eagles have given up 106 points. And we're 1-3. and three. Dallas is 3-1, and one, and they've given up 97 points. That's only a 9-point differential. That just goes to show we're still in this thing. Dallas is going to lose to a team that can put up one more touchdown in there. To a team with tighter defense. Okay? Now, the Cowboys have put up 126 points to our 94, but they're playing clean football. We gotta clean up our penalties. We could have had 28 points on the. I said 28. We could have had 14 more points if it wasn't for Andre Dillard and JJ Arthega. But it's not all on them on those. Andre and JJ committed the penalties on Dallas Goddard's um, touchdowns, but it's not all on them. The defense continuously putting up those penalties. Stop it. Stop it. Now, we got the Panthers and Bucks. We had to go in and beat those two teams. I know it's the Panthers and it's the Bucks. The Panthers, we need to go in to beat the Panthers. Okay? And the Panthers' defense has been playing amazing. So far, they've only given up 66 points. And 30 of them points to the Cowboys. We got to find a way to score. Pound on them boys. Okay? Okay? Now, when it comes to Tampa Bay Buccaneers, we just saw the Bucks last night. They were playing... Um, they were playing the freaking Patriots. I'm not even going to take that game into account because, like I said, coaching, that's freaking Bill Belichick. Like, yeah, the talent on the field isn't all that. But like I said, that coaching, that's coaching a wizard of a coach. And plus, that game meant a lot, so the Patriots were playing up. But the Patriots were able to put that pressure on them. So, Nick, Jonathan, go take some pages out of Bill Belichick's book. Go break down film, see what he did, and figure that G out. And the Bucks right now, and like I said, when we get to the game previews, we're actually going to break down these matchups, but I'm just looking at stuff surface level right now. So, I know all of this depends on who these teams are playing. But right now, the Bucks have given up 105 points. That's the same amount of points as we've given up. 106. We've given up 106. The Bucks have given up 105. Now, like I said, you got to peel back those numbers. And granted, they did play the Dallas Cowboys, who probably put up a billion points. But all I'm saying is that defense has holes. We just got to find them. The Bucks are going to be without Gronkowski. Take advantage. Guys, don't talk that tank to you. You don't tank when you got this young... 
My players are too young. First of all, it's freaking week five. What the heck y'all talking about tanking? Second of all, what kind of message does that send to this young coach staff and these young dudes on the field? Give it up now at week five. Don't tank. Tighten up. Don't tank. Tighten. Tighten. And it needs to be some disciplinary action for the flags. Yeah, you take the bus back home or you drive an Uber back to Philly. And something need to happen. These penalties, it needs to be some... It ain't no push-ups or nothing like that because all these guys already be exercising. It needs to be something hitting hard. The penalties, there needs to be some penalties for the penalties. Okay? Everybody makes mistakes, of course. You don't beat yourself up with a penalty. We're breaking records when it comes to the penalties. And it's week five. It's week four. We broke records. what needs to happen but something need to happen with the penalty some shaming come out to practice with a pair of bag on your head something something need to happen hot sauce to the mouth I don't know it needs to be some disciplinary actions lastly I wanted to talk about actually I'm going to go through and read y'all comments this is my new segment reading the comments so I made a post, this season is looking over, dot, dot, dot. I guess I had the Braves and LeBron. Yeah, because like I'm saying, y'all, the Sixers, unless we get Dame, the Sixers season going to be some bullshit, do. At least some of these other teams have basketball fan bases to root for, to look forward to. So I'm going to read the comments on that post. Now, like I said, the season, I said that because I was in the moment it was in the game. The season's not over. Is my hope over? Yes. But is the season over? No. Them boys is still out there and ball and do what they get paid to do. Someone said, win or lose. I'm R. Junior said, win or lose. I'm going to be there every week supporting my Eagles. I'm going to still be talking my shit every week. I like that, R. Fly, Eagles, fly. Keep your head up. It's never over. You're right. I like that. I am the future said, that's what I'm talking about. Literally the best mindset right there. Win, lose, or tie. I got my excuses ready to go. I'm dead. I like that. Eagles landed said, I'm just looking for improvement. The offense needs to continue to improve. The defense needs to be revamped with all new talent. But Gavin is not showing himself well. We need to draft all defense in the first round. I don't even want to think about the draft because they never listen to us in the draft. We say what we need and they don't do it. So I'm not even thinking about the draft. Sun Ray said, This is a rebuild. Isn't that why Doug got fired? This ain't no rebuild. I see why y'all think it's a rebuild, but do y'all see we were in these games? We, we could be. I hate to say it. I'm not even gonna say four and up, but we could be two and two easily if we clean up our penalties. We could be three and one easily if it was better play calling against the Niners. This ain't no rebuild. We got the talent. It's penalties and play calling. I see so much talent out there. I don't call that a rebuild. A rebuild is when you just draft, when you got a quarterback, and that's it. A quarterback, maybe one young weapon. That's a rebuild. We loaded with talent. We putting up the points. We we keeping it close. <sighs> Joseph Hudson said. Be patient. This season is just a step to greatness. And I love the Atlanta Braves. They've already stamped their tickets. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hakeem said, play calling was better. I still think Miles needs to the ball at least 15 times a game. Agreed. And Hakeem, yeah, but the defensive play calling was some hard garbage. Nate Lowe said, 11 W's to plan for the Braves. I'm so confused about that, but go Hawks. Jared said, makes me so mad. Our defense is literally garbage. No discipline. Gets tossed around like little rag dolls. Offense got better, but still way too many mistakes. And I don't know if it's and I don't know if it's not proper coaching or what. <sighs> Reese said, I feel you, but don't quit yet. Chance said, no, this season is not over. I like that chance. I'm about to give that a heart. Ethan coming on that hater G said the Braves are first round exit. Well, hey, at least the Braves are freaking still playing baseball right now. 
You know what I'm saying? Just don't be hating on the Braves. Don't start that. Someone said LeBron and the Braves. Sad face. King Rander. G Cole said shock face. Where you hide and say, ew, you like the braids? And people say, I'm disgusted for putting mayo in ramen noodles. Ew. Yeah, you are disgusting. Saw Sensei said, no cap. And Big Ball said, Hertz is killing us. Hertz is killing us? No, he's not. If Hertz was killing us, I'll be ranting about Hertz. Hertz is not killing us. The man's did everything in his power yesterday. The man's was amazing. Almost 400 yards, two touchdowns. He made great decisions. He had those two risky passes, but neither one of them turned into a uh, turnover. He had great decision on his leg. He was quick, finding his man. He checked down, checked down, checked down. Didn't force anything. Completions, completions, completions was all I saw from Jalen Hurts. I don't want to pull up his numbers because then I'm going to see the Chiefs numbers. I'm going to see the loss again. I don't want to pull up the stats because I don't want to look at that box score and see the loss. But I know he had 380 plus yards, two touchdowns, completions, completions, completions. Check down, check down, check down. Check down. You know what I'm saying? In a good way. Nick told Jalen, just complete, complete, complete. Find a completion. Don't force you. He did. He used his legs when necessary. It was dangerous when he used them. Didn't play any hero ball. I loved it. Don't start that boo. If it's anybody here we're coming for this week, it's Jonathan Gannon, Nick Sirianni friend. Got to start checking these resumes closer. And I agree with y'all. This is some freaking karma because we should have hired Eric B. Enemy or we should have hired Deuce Staley. This is karma. We get, yep, karma for doing that bullshit. Anyways. Like this video, leave a comment, subscribe, keep rocking with me. Keep your head up, guys. Keep flying, 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 flying. We got to pound the Panthers. We got to stop that pound.